right, so today, along with Joe and Denise Chapetta, we are unveiling an exciting and needed ministry. So listen up. Disab disability Awareness for Disciples. We call it, yes, we call it the Dad Ministry. Tagline, maximizing everyone's abilities with our Father. Fact one, one out of five Americans have disabilities. How many do you think we have in the church? Jesus came to proclaim recovery of sight for the blind. And Paul taught specifically how to handle people with disabilities. If you look in 1 Corinthians 12, and a lot of us know this scripture in verse 21, the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. <laughs> On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable retreat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. Paul teaches here to help with those who we consider weaker, that we're gonna teach them through additional follow-ups, studies, a series of monthly presentations to caretakers, Bible talk leaders, shepherds, and ministry staff, that the church needs every disabled, dis uh, disabled disciple. Amen? Weaker equals indispensable. A one-talent disciple has no less value with God than a five-talent. <laughs> Unpresentable does not necessarily mean they're not a disciple. Amen. Special honor, special modesty, special treatment is not an option, Amen. but a command of God. How improper handling of a dis disability here we go, can devastate the faith of a disciple and their family. I can relate to this because my son, and a lot of you guys know this, and it's very dear to me, this, this project. My son, as well, has a disability because he was not born disabled. He caught an infection, and he had brain damage. My son, you guys know my son, Devin. <clears throat> but John 9 says, when the disciples asked Jesus about the blind man, remember the story. He said, why, why, why is he, did the, did the parents say it? And Jesus said, no. <laughs> the power of God would be displayed in him. And I tell you what, I know my son has been in and out, in and out of the church, as we see a lot of people with a lot of disabilities come in and out. And how do we deal with those people? But I tell you what, being able to watch my son, some of you guys saw on Facebook, the way he helped my other son, his brother. We saw the love. There's love in their hearts with the disabled. We're gonna define, we're gonna define mental illness, teaching how to convert. Disciple, have vision for the life of disciples with disabilities. We're gonna redefine compassion, consideration, and love and using people with disabilities in virtually every role in the church. Yeah. Our goal, every disciple knows how to lead and how to love people with disabilities. 